Hello, this is Tommy. Welcome back to Chatomics. Today, I'm going to share with you several resources uh, for you to learn uh, bioinformatics or computational biology. Okay, the first resource I want to uh, share with you is the uh, lessons from Data Carpentry. So if you don't know it, so Data Carpentry is a nonprofit uh, organization which teaches you uh, non-programmers how to do computation. Okay, it has uh, many different curriculums, uh, astro astronomy, uh, ecology, and also for example, genomics. So this is the one if you, uh, you want to uh, take a look. So you click here. And for this uh, curriculum, it has many different uh, courses. Uh, for example, how to do project organization for genomics, an instruction to command line for genomics, data wrangling, and also cloud computing for genomics. So if you uh, watched one of my previous video on how to start uh, bioinformatics, so the first thing you want to learn is a command line. So uh, you can actually click here, so one of the site. So, uh, so here it teach you how to use uh, the shell or the command line and because most of the bioinformatics tools are written uh, to run on command line. So you really want to know how to use it. So it teach you how to navigate files and directories, okay, those bash commands, okay. Yeah, and uh, the next uh, course that I want to talk about is this one, this data analysis for the life science series. This was created by the Rafa lab uh, at Dana-Farber. Uh, 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 Rafa uh, is the uh, department chair of da uh, data science. Dana-Farber. So this is like heavily R focused, but I really like it because initially it talks about R, how to use R, and also uh, it teaches you a lot of uh, the statistics and how to use R. And in the later course, for example, it teaches you how to um, do statistical inference and modeling for the high uh, experiments. And uh, uh, later it also teaches you like uh, those commonly used um, methods, for example, principal component analysis, uh, MDS, clustering, and uh, in the in the later course, it also teaches you how to use bioconductor to to do uh, data analysis. So if you don't know bioconductor, make sure you Google it, and it has a lot of uh, packages made for different uh, genomic assays. Okay, and as you see, it has YouTube videos. It also has the uh, uh, the course text here, for example, here. You can also find a book actually uh, uh, if you search. Uh, so you can also buy the book uh, if you want. And as you see, it's actually part of the edX program. So if you go to edX and search uh, this thing, and you will see uh, there, those are the courses uh, from the same actual link here. From the same link here so if you want to uh, get the uh, the, uh, the ver verified or whatever the uh, certificate you can come here and take the course okay so the next one i want to mention is this course uh, biology meets bio uh, programming uh, bioinformatics for beginners is one of uh, the course that i took from coursera so this is uh, Python uh, focused, but it, in this uh, in, uh, introductory course, it teaches you how to find actually uh, DNA binding uh, motifs and in, in the DNA sequences. So I really enjoy this, and this actually is part of the bigger courses and the bioinformatics algorithms. So, so there are many courses actually for 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 this uh, bioinformatics uh, spe specialization course. So you can take more uh, courses if you want. And the next one I want to introduce is this course. Uh, let me go back to the main page. So Introduction to Bioinformatics and Computational Biology. So this uh, one uh, was actually created by uh, Shirley Liu's lab at Dana-Farber. So I was in her group uh, for um, one, one year and 10 months, and I'm actually ha happy that I also contribute to the single cell ataxic uh, lesson in this course. 
Okay, so this is actually the STAT 115 course uh, from Harvard University, and it's actually fr freely available for you. So it talks about uh, the basics of bioinformatics, for example, FASTQ and FASTQC, RNA-seq, D-seq2, clustering, uh, dimension re reduction, classification. And it really teach you how, teaches you how to analyze in practical, practical data, uh, for example, chip sequencing, RNA sequencing. Uh, I believe they have high c as well, and then uh, single cell data, GWAS data, single cell data here. And, uh, and also, for example, um, TCGA data, okay? So it's, uh, if we cl just click one of them, so those are all actually YouTube videos that uh, uh, Shirley's group organized together. So it's really the uh, recording of the STAT 115 course uh, by Shirley, okay? I highly recommend you go through this. Uh, of course, I'm biased because I was part of it. And uh, the next one I want to mention is this course by uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Aaron Quinlan's lab at University of Utah. So if you don't know Aaron, uh, you should. So if you, if you have uh, ever worked with genomic data intervals, you, you really need to know uh, BED tools, BED tools. It's a fantastic command line tool to um, do uh, a, a genomic interval inter uh, manipulation. So I haven't taken this course uh, myself, but it looks really uh, good to me. And it also talk, talks about you know, like some Unix in the very beginning. Again, uh, emphasizing the importance of a Unix command line, okay? Yeah, so uh, don't worry, I will have all the useful links in the description of this video, so you will not lose it. And if you want to learn more, really this, there are several actual platforms I uh, recommend you go to. First one is EDX that I already uh, mentioned. That's uh, for the Rafa uh, course. And you can search here like uh, bioinformatics. And the other one is Coursera, right? I also showed you for one of the course, okay? And, and the other one is called Udacity. For example, like I was searching like deep learning in this, uh, in this uh, website. So there are some actually free courses here as well, but may not be specific to uh, um, to bioinformatics or genomics, but uh, you can learn some general programming and skills like with Python or R from, from those courses or machine learning. Okay, I think uh, that's it for today. I hope uh, this video helps you to start your own journey in uh, bioinformatics and happy learning and see you next time.